These aggressive killer bees have attacked and killed over a thousand people in Latin America. Since their arrival in the United States, they have already killed two dozen people. These bees will live in anything. I mean, literally. Reed Booth works as a professional killer bee removal expert in Arizona. It takes only a few seconds for thousands of angry, ferocious bees to launch an offensive attack. This many bees and how insane they are would have killed us. I'm an adrenaline junkie. He's always taking risks. Um, you just can't change someone's personality. Oh, damn it. Reed's bee suit can't always protect him from getting stung. All right, you little bastard, you're done for. Let's get him. Reed often works under dangerous conditions. He risks his life on every job to keep us safe. As the sun rises in Arizona, it's the start of another busy day for Reed Booth. With his assistant, Jim, aboard, he heads off to go remove killer bees that are disrupting people's lives. Reed lives on the outskirts of Bisbee, a town nestled within the Arizona Mule Mountains, a mere 15 miles from the Mexican border. This town used to be a busy copper mining town. But when the facilities closed down their operations 30 years ago, Bisbee became a haven for artists and retirees. Today, the entire state of Arizona is saturated with killer bees. In the state of Arizona alone, they estimate there are between four and five million wild Africanized hive, with each hive containing an average of 40 to 60,000 bees. So you can do the math. Reed's first job today is in the neighboring town of Sierra Vista. I can tell this is a big one. Reed and his assistant, Jim, put on their protective bee suits to avoid being stung. My husband works around out in the barn and out there, and he's noticed a bunch of bees flying around. Yeah. And then when he showed me the other day where they were, you can hear them underneath. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, Lord. you can hear. So. All right, we'll just meet you over there. Okay. All right, great. Can't hear them right now. Can't hear them, but I'll tell you what, day before yesterday, you was, mm, could hear, oh yeah, you could really hear them buzzing. Well, I can see a couple of them buzzing around, so they've got to be under here somewhere. Oh? Well, there they are. I'm not getting any closer. Oh, well, my bee suit on. Um, you can, uh, if you want to watch, pull a car up I and sit in a car. I will, be far You'll away. be far <laughs> Don't worry. You're smarter than, way over there. smarter than I am, my dear. Yes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and tie into it, and we'll take care of it, and then I'll come and knock on the door when we get it wrapped. Okay. Reed never knows how aggressive a hive is going to be until he actually starts to remove it. Crazy bunch of bees. Okay, bee ladies. Well, let's be sure to keep an eye out for snakes and centipedes and black widows and all the other friendlies, okay. as opposed to the bees. First, they have to remove these construction supplies to find the beehive. Oh, they're getting off the chain a little bit here. If you see any bees over there, if you see any bees over there, you dad alert, they're getting mean. Oh, Lord. Here they are. They're attacking. Oh, man, I can smell that venom. The strong smell of venom reminds Jim to make sure his suit is well zipped up. Oh, well, she's still standing over there. I don't think she should. <laughs> While lifting these sharp objects, they have to be extra careful not to rip their suits, or the killer bees could get in. Wow, Kyle? they are off the chain. They are really unhappy with us at this point. And of course, I can't scratch my nose. God dang it all. Oh, they're nuclear, dude. They're not coming in, so. No, no, you're good. Can you see, I, I mean, I can see on your mask how they're like, I know, I can, trying to sting. I can smell that venom. Yeah, I can smell the venom big time. I mean, actually do this. Since Jim is new on the job, Reed explains to him how your brain